Hello guys and welcome to TechExpress. You're managing appointments all in one solution for managing your schedule needed. So this is an actual great application to uh, appointments that can streamline your booking process. So let's work through it step by step. Now, Squat Appointments is a bird saddle scheduling tool that integrates appointment booking with payment processing. It's designed to make managing bookings easy and efficient. With features like online schedule, calendar zinged, and automated reminders, this is a great tool, guys, for business looking for digitalized and streamlined appointments. Um, booking process and the actual prices are actually really great even they have an actual free plan with that being said let's get started with setting up our account first things first let's set up your account so head to the square appointments website and sign up you need to provide some basic information to get started with the focus into the free person just for now so you have your email confirm this email create a passcode uh, you're located agree to this well terms and services and go here and to continue now if you already have an account at Squarespace, get into sign in. And then later on, what you can do is to even use your Gmail account. It's going to be much more faster to add all your elements there. So my account is now being created automatically. Now, once your account is set up, it's going to be asking you for adding information to access the Square Appointments dashboard. For example, your first plus last name, the business phone information, everything about your store, where you're actually based it in. So it's going to be now configuring Square Appointments account for your actual website. So the next step is configuring your services. What you wanted to do is to go to the service tab to into your dashboard and click add your service or you can focus into the primary setup. So what you want to do is to go here and to create your services here. So how I have my details, description, the price, the duration, the minutes. So let's say for example that my service title is a website. Um, let's go for creation. Service description, we are doing a website for your company. The price, let's go for 156 hours let's go for three and minutes i need to go for zero and go into save now later on if you wanted to do something much more than that to help me manage time efficiently in preparing our booking you can go here into creating other services let's say for example that i wanted to go for video creation but instead of going for say let's go for more options and it's going to be popping out this new dashboard setting where what we can do is to add much more than that for example the name the category description now we can add an actual image see here i can go for browse image library and i can go for update images or go for upload and here let's say for example that i choose this one i hit into open and i update my images so I click into the X mark and now let's go for home decor category. Let's go for none here. I can help you to the core your house. Now, now the locations would be my business and they'll be able at all future location. Now the fixed price. Let's go for 34 cancellation fee. We can add now cancellation fees. There is an actual duration, of course. We can add a process in time you wanted to. Online booking replace price with description. Resources now, variations and advanced settings. For example, modifiers and custom attributes. After that, let's get now into save. And here you can see we have on our actual service. So it looks great, right? So far. Now let's go back here. And let's get started with configuring now your calendar. Let's set up your calendar. Square appointments allow you to define, guys, your working hours, your blocking time, um, your customizable ability, and this helps manage your time efficiently and prevents our booking. If you focus here into appointments, you should see that we have the calendar section, and here you can set up your Google account if you wanted to. You can create one if you haven't added this automatically. So we have the event type, for example, the name, the email, the phone number, the date and time, the appointment notes, and you can save the amount it's going to be charging. For example, the price of the of the product, hit now into save, and the name should be added um, automatically. Really, really easy. So managing appointments here is going to be helping you to check out how it's going to be looking your square. You can view, reschedule, of course, or cancel appointments directly from your dashboard. The customers can also book and modify their appointments through the booking site. 
So this system uh, also, guys, sends automated reminders to reduce the non-shows. You can even add this into Instagram or resolve this with Google. But before we can do this, we're gonna go here and to get started and follow along the actual instructions, guys. Now let's integrate a few payment processes in order to have my actual site already been set up. Let's go back here into my appointments and go here into home. So you can see we do have the let's get set up and activate your account. So I wanted to go here and to link my bank account. It's gonna be asking you to connect your bank account in order to make the verification process. And then you can get started to receive money here into your appointment. So go here into link to my account and get scroll the checking. So really, really easy to add all of this element. Add an external bank account and you wanted to go, for example, the add external bank account, have your checking account, business checking savings, Add all of your information to hit now to verify the verification process is not actually that hard. Now, customizing your booking site. Customizing your booking site, guys, is gonna be helping you to bench match, of course, your branding. You can add your logo, you can add your business stuff, you can edit your site. Here's how it's gonna be looking as a website and the phone. I uh, have the services here. Here's the booking section and hit now into publish if you're okay with that. This personalization, of course, add a personal touch and an ace branding consistency. You can create a custom domain or just focus into the one that was generated for you. And this should be added into your Square dashboard inside your appointments. You can add more teams, you can add your shift, you can see the reports and you can see your new customers and the balance of how much money you have earned inside the actual Square. So there you have it guys. It's how you can set up and use Square appointments. With this user-friendly interface and concept of features, it's an excellent tool for managing your appointment base into the business here. So if this tutorial was helpful guys, please give us a like and subscribe to the Tech Express for more practical tech guys. Have any questions or tips about using Square appointments, you can drop them into the comments below. Thank you guys for tuning in and we'll see you out into the next video with more tech insights to help you run your business smoothly. See you soon.